Welcome everyone to episode 3 of Banda Inku's Arcade Quest painting series. Today we're painting Hobbs Bomb. As per usual, we're gonna start off with a nice coat of black primer. Next we're grabbing our dead white and undercoating the inner cloak, the scrolls, the spellbook, and his skin. For our first color, we're going to grab our basic skin tone and base coat his head and his hands. Next we're mixing up some Seraphim Sepia, Rykun Flesh Shade, and Glaze Medium and washing down the skin. Once that wash is dry, we're going to come back with our basic skin tone and do some highlights. Now that the skin is complete, we're going to grab our beastie brown and start base coating the hair, sword, and belts. Next we're grabbing our Agrax Earthshade and applying it to all the brown we just painted. In some areas, such as the hair, we want to leave a little bit of pooling to get some of that depth, while in other places like the eyebrows, we only want to apply a thin layer just to darken down that tone a little bit. Once again, we're coming back to our Beastie Brown and re-establishing some of those mint tones. Now that we've got our mid-tones re-established, we're going to grab our ochre brown and start adding in some highlights. During this step, we're going to apply a couple different layers, with each layer brightening up that highlight just a little bit more.
Next up, we're grabbing our bone white and base coating the scrolls and the spell book. Now that we've got those base coated, we're going to mix together some Seraphim Sepia and Glaze Medium and wash them down. For his tongue and inner cloak, we're gonna grab our bloody red. Next, we're growing our caribou crimson and darkening down the tongue. Then we'll mix in a little bit of glaze medium and wash down the inner cloak. Once that wash is dry enough that it's not going to move around, we're going to grab our dead white and touch up the eyes and the teeth. We're then going to use our micron pen to fill in his pupils. Like I've mentioned before, I really like using micron pens for adding in those fine details. It's just so much easier than trying to do it with a small detail brush. Now that our cloak wash is fully dried, we're going to go back to our Karaberg Crimson and add some extra shading to some of the areas that the wash didn't quite get the way that we wanted. Next we'll grab our ochre brown and re-establish some of the highlights on the belts and the tie around his waist. Then we'll grab our Agrix Earthshade and do a light shading layer on the belts and the waist tie. Next we're grabbing our dark gray and base coating the outer cloak. Next we're highlighting all those rough edges of the cloak using some light gray. You'll see while we're doing this that this highlight is very extreme, but no need to worry. It'll get dulled down a little bit when we apply our shade.
With the highlight complete, it's time to shade down that cloak using some Nuln Oil. After applying our shade to the whole cloak, we're going to take our fine detail brush and reapply the shade just over the highlighted portions to darken them down just a little bit more. We'll also apply the shade in between his teeth. We'll then proceed to shade just the inner portions of the cloak to create some additional contrast. Next we're grabbing our bone white and doing some highlights on the scrolls and the spellbook. Next we're grabbing our purple and throwing down a base coat on the spellbook cover. With the spellbook cross, we're grabbing our brass. And for our last step, we're gonna coat the base in black. And with that, Hobbs Bomb is complete. Thank you guys for joining. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this content, go ahead and hit the like button below. And if you'd like, subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Hobbs Bomb complete. Bundaroo out.